Uh, I was already uh, very fascinated when I was uh, selected last time. Obviously, uh, I shifted my mid sims for this. So, uh, this was very important for me. I had to come here. It actually models the different problems from the real life situations. That's the plus point of these competitions. And since it's more like algorithm based and data structure based, so it's indirectly depending upon our development skills. It was a great uh, uh, experience participating in the contest and a sense of accomplishment, uh, confidence booster for me that I've been a part of, I've qualified for the second time in, in such a contest where a large number of uh, people participate. So, uh, great, great experience. I like the coding competitions and when I got to know about the code beta for the first time, I was just like, I, we will try. It was a team contest back then, but now it was like, uh, I saw India uh, as uh, you guys from uh, from TCS and from Code Vita, and it was a great experience for me to learn new things, meet new people, know new culture, and I think that all of that that means Code Vita for me. The questions that are asked are very relatable to the real life problems. So these problems were the first that got me exposure to how a programming language can solve the real world problems and it can affect the lives of people. I am quite passionate about problem solving since the very start and CodeVita was just another platform for me to prove my skills. So I came and participated. Um, I received an email at last October I think then it's from the uh, campus commune and yeah, that's my first impression about Kodvita. Well, I'm a competitive programmer. I choose to participate in a programming contest. Well, I like the feeling to that compu computers solve problems that humans can never solve. Like just use um, codes and logic trunks to tell a computer what to do. And then it comes up with the solution of really large data sets that humans can never come up with. I found out about CodeVita through my college friend. Uh, they participated last year in CodeVita season 5. And uh, I'm very excited about the final and expecting an harder and challenging problems to solve. I like it because I have uh, a warm welcome from TCS, uh, which I really appreciate it by programming a one man can choose the world. Yeah. I'm surprised and I think it's amazing. And also I'm a little nervous about it. Could we do it? So we can compare ourselves, we can see where we are standing with against others, we can test our skills. Like, we can so just basically push ourselves against others and see where we stand. I felt very happy because I am going to attend the final of a coding event which is global and I will be uh, in the final I will be among the people from not uh, from all over the world uh, good people very good people so I will get to meet any any kind of people who are from all over the world but having similar interests like me in algorithms and programming you have to have a love for problem solving and the second thing is that you should be uh, practicing very frequently. So I think that helps you to solve problems quickly, and which is very much needed for contests like Code Vita. Uh, I found it uh, very good that the uh, contest problems focused on uh, algorithmic thinking and problem solving rather than some specific technologies. Uh, Code Vita has been a memorable journey for me. Like it really helped me to polish my skills, polish my coding skills. Um, from the uh, round one to round two, I really had to work on to some concepts which I was uh, quite uh, I uh, I was not quite uh, confident about them before. Uh, I participated last year as well. Uh, first time, pretty much just to try what it is like. I did some other competitions as well, and it was always fun. So so I tried to it as well, and yeah, then again last year and again this year, and it it was always good. Like the the problems were really interesting and it was fun to try to solve them. Codevita is a really good competition 
because it's getting better from year to year and it is kind of unique as it is very international. I actually, I love maths and problem solving and I do regularly programming and generally I participate in contests. For finals, I, was, I am so excited about this. Um, honestly, I am feeling very proud that um, I am one of the top 40 finalists. Uh, for the finals, it's the first time and last year I have been to round 2. Yeah, I am happy, feeling great and very excited to be part of the team. The, the thing I enjoy most about programming is that it's a creative outlet. You can take your ideas and formulate them into whatever you want. You can create anything you imagine if you try hard enough. Well, it's really, really, I'm really happy because I've been trying for the last three years and this is the first time that I've gone into finals. They are close to the real life problems and they are interesting as well. I love problem solving, so that made me to come back. The questions are interesting. Most of the questions are interesting. You have to work hard to get the answers. I feel that there is a, a very competitive environment here and there is an, a lot of uh, students from uh, from different countries from, from all around the world. Uh, I think this finance is going to be very competitive this time. Uh, I think that in the last uh, rounds of Codovita it was very interesting since you can uh, see a different problems uh, solved with different approach. I think it's interesting change the change the format. That now is individually, and uh, I think it was challenge challenging because um, the problem the problem question was so interesting and original. I like. The home round, it was uh, quite fun, but I think the uh, challenges were a little bit uh, technical. Well, I enjoy building uh, software programs, uh, I kind of like it as a craft. Uh, I started programming when I was uh, about 10, and I started attending a school, uh, a school lesson, and since then I I participated in some contests which, uh, which uh, encour encouraged me to do some more programming. Uh, I think the uh, kinds of pro the kind of the problem that they are giving is amazing, and it's a long, it's a six hour uh, you know it's a six hour, six hour long contest. So uh, solving like scratching your mind on one problem for this much time, like I find that amazing. So.